Hello, 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 and welcome again to our YouTube channel, Say Wow to Change. It's all about becoming better, becoming better as a woman or man of God, becoming um, more better as far as your personality, um, the talents that you have, and more better at taking this walk in life. Okay. Um, tonight, I'm so excited because we have a special guest. She's been with me um, a couple of times already. So um, it's like her just coming back home. Um, I want to introduce this young lady. She is an awesome woman of God. Um, she has her own business. She is an entrepreneur. Um, she has beautiful kids, an awesome husband. And um, I'm saying all this because, yeah, I'm kind of, you know, taking it personal. She is my niece. This is uh, Rihanna Faith Sanders. Um, let us welcome her. She has an awesome word for you this evening. Now, for those of you that, you know, are so sensitive, this is going to help you flip that script. Because as Christians, we shouldn't be so caught up in our feelings. So um, her topic tonight is unoffended. And um, without having to say anything else, I'd like to help welcome you, Rihanna. You may go ahead and move forward. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Thank you. Thank you, Auntie Susan, for inviting me um, once again. This is like my third time. <laughs> um, but I, I am honored. I am honored. Thank you very much for inviting me. Um, I am a member a Freedom Reign Church here in Charlotte, North Carolina. I want to give all um, honor and praises, you know, to the, my God, you know, for allowing me to be up under such a great leadership. Pastor Marlon Harris and Alicia, um, his wife, his lovely lady, um, Alicia Harris. You know, thank you very much. I got to make sure I recognize them, you know, um, because that's who I'm up under currently right now. Um, so yeah, y'all come and visit us. If you live in the Charlotte area, you know, don't pass us up, come visit us. You know, <laughs> we'll be more than happy to arms open to greet you guys. And um, yeah, pretty much that's it. But before we begin, y'all, I just have to tell y'all something. Um, me and my auntie Susan did not plan to have our scarves on today, nor our um, little shoulders out, the and little little slit in the shirt and everything like it just happened so please 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 <laughs> don't think that we planned it we got on here it was like oh my god you know oh my goodness we're wearing the same thing like everyone's gonna think we planned that <laughs> yes <laughs> but we didn't i just thought that was so funny i was like wow that 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 bloodline that tap boy that tap boy. Blood, blood. right and it happens so often so often so often but without any further ado, I just want to go ahead and begin tonight. As um, Auntie Susan had mentioned, I am going to be talking about being offended. And <clears throat> this um, topic was downloaded onto me because um, recently I had encounters with several people that I got offended. Um, I'm just going to be honest with you all. I got into my feelings and um, I started asking God, Lord Jesus, what is it that, you know, is it me? Is it, what is it? And he started showing me that it is you. And with me, I am the type of person that um, instead of blaming everyone else, Lord, do a new thing on me, work on me, you know, show me me so I can grow and be better. Because at the end of the day, you all know we can't change anybody else, but we can change ourselves. So um, today we're going to be talking about being unoffended. And when I looked up the definition for being unoffended, um, it stated to cause one to feel upset. Now, half of you guys know that um, you can get upset with the person getting a new car or a new home before you do, or even just a great body. You see down here, I have a little pictures, but down here in the far corner, um, Miss, that is Miss Ernestine. I just have to point her out to you guys. This is Miss Ernestine Shepherd. She is the oldest, the oldest female bodybuilder. She is from Baltimore. Maryland and guess her age. Can you guess her age? You can put it in the chat or uh, yeah, go ahead, Auntie Susan. <laughs> yeah, 60. Oh, no, but you know what? I ain't offended of her body. She is 82 years. Ooh. Yes, yes. Now, um, I'm not offended of her body. I can just tell you guys that, but I do want to be like that. You know, I want, I want my body to be point, point, just like her. <laughs> 
Um, in addition to, to that, we can also become unoffend, um, offended, my apologies. Um, we can be annoyed of certain individuals. You guys ever met that individual that's, that's just in everything, hands on everything. It's just like, oh my goodness, why don't you just sit down somewhere? Or always speaking positivity in the air, you know, or just happy-go-lucky. You just like, okay, does anything bother you? Or do you get tired? You know, when do you have time for yourself? Um, last one also of offended, been offended, I want to point to you is resentfulness. You know, half the time we believe that certain people don't deserve certain things, um, such as having that great job. And if you see here, I have the best job in the world. I had to put that there because to be honest with you, the best job for me in the world is no work and all play. Like, and I'm gonna get there one day. Yeah, I'm almost there too. But I don't want y'all to be offended though when I get there, okay? <laughs> be joyful with me, be joyful with me. But um, I say all this to say God's desire for us as Christians, as individuals, is for us to be unoffended. And if you see the uh, right here, the word un means the reverse of. And I just wanted to bring to your attention what are some of the reverse of. You guys, I'm outside. So if you hear noises, you know, hey, I'm in God's nature. I'm surrounded by his nature. And I love being in this element because it's comfortable for me. So um, I'm praying that you guys don't get distracted <laughs> and be able to tune in and get the word of God um, that I have to present to you today. So back to um, being unoffended. God wants us to become unoffended Christians. And the, some ways that you can do that, the antonyms of doing that is being able to com comfort others, help others, be delightful with others, compliment them. And sometimes we are called to be silent, silent. And these are just some of the many ways of being offended and unoffended. So now that I've told you guys, though, gave you guys that information, I just want you guys to think of a time, something that have offended you or you have offended somebody else. Um, go ahead and put it down in the chat there. And at this present time, I just want to open it up for you, Auntie Susan, so you can go ahead and tell us a moment. All right. I like to communicate. I like to talk right. back and forth with people. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, awesome. I have a good one for you. You were saying, you know, think of a, a time something has offended me or I've offended someone. Um, there was a time when I was offended. Um, um, we were at a staff meeting um, with my boss and other coworkers and there was issues and, and, and pressure and drama going on in the office. So he called all of us together into his office. And this one lady who um, felt uh, negative toward me, she chose that opportunity to literally curse me out. I mean, she was like using all kind of language that's not even in the dictionary, you know, <laughs> you know, just sitting there just like, you this, you this, you that, I'm sitting there. But I praise God for the growth because mm -hmm. while she was offending me, because everyone else was like, ooh, ooh, what, even my boss, like shaking his head. I sat there and I just smiled at her. I just smiled. Mm -hmm. And uh, she was like, are you sitting there just smiling? And la, 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 la. You know, but let me tell you what was going on in my mind while I was smiling. I was asking God to hold my tongue and give me peace. And so, wow. but, you know, so the enemy was busy within her because we know that it's not her, it's the enemy within. While she was cursing me out, offending me or wanting to offend me, I was with God. My mindset, you know, was in another place and God held my tongue and allowed me to sit there. Um, so, yeah, but it, you know, later on, I, I was thinking I was going to feel some kind of way, but I didn't because God gave me peace because I knew that what she was saying was false. And so, you know, when someone accuses you falsely, you know, you don't have to defend yourself. You just sit there and let them speak their opinion. So, but yeah, so that was one time when someone had offended me. And I can't think of a time that I've offended someone um, right now. You know, maybe I have in the past, but right now I can't think of anything. <laughs> well, if you remember, just put it down in the chat because we do want to know or whenever, you know, just let us know. But thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
that just hearing you say you sat there and smiled, I was I was thinking of that person that did the offense to you. And I was like, in my head, what would I have been thinking? Like, oh my goodness, this chick is crazy. Like, <laughs> um, let me stop, let me stop, let me call with her hands. What's going on in her head? But, <laughs> um, look, the audio is trying to mess up right now, but the enemy is not going to have the victory. But yes. So, um, yeah, I was just thinking of me being that person on the other end. I would have just stopped and been like, OK, let me let me just pull back, because when someone just smile at me and I want them to get upset and they smiling, you kind of think that something's going on up there that ain't kind of right. So, yeah, yeah, they got a cuckoo <laughs> for Coco Pops. <laughs> Right, right, right. But it's amazing because, no, you're being silent. You're taking part of that being offended. And being silent. Remember, I said sometimes God, I mean, well, in well, we just seen the definition. We need to be silent at times. And that's the, that's what you did at that present time. But I wanted to bring it to your attention and to everyone else's attention that is listening. Do you know in God's word, he told his disciples that there will be stumbling blocks, temptations, traps, offenses set to allure one to sin and are sure to come. But whoa, judgment is coming to him through whom they come. Luke 17, 1. So in his scripture, he tells us, remember, being offended is a trap to sin. Be vigilant, saints. Be vigilant. That offense is inevitable. Amen. It will put a wedge between you and your relationships and your greatness. We have to be vigilant and pay attention. When we allow our emotions to become fluctuated, it can begin to interrupt our calling. Mm -hmm. Everyone has a call. So we need to be careful. It says that in his word. And not only that, we need to seek God, let God, and trust God to take care of the problem. He says it right there. Like, whoa, judgment's going to, I'm going to take care of it. Judgment's going to come to them. Mm -hmm. It's not for us to try to go and take care of it. Just like you have said with the woman, the um, scenario that you provided us. So being offended, remember, being offended is inevitable, inevitable, and those who offend will have to pay. Mm. Will have to pay. Amen. Okay. I know some of you guys. Um, so let's look at some of the things that uh, some ways that we can become unoffended. And this is what God downloaded me. You guys remember the saying, sticks and stones may break my bones, but the words will never hurt me. Man, mm. I grew up hearing that saying over and over again. And the older I got, I was like, you a doggone lie. Yes. They do hurt. I mean, they hurt. They hurt. They penetrate my heart. Like, I, I am feeling this stuff. So, you know, um, what? It, which brings us to one of the first things. We have to have an unoffended heart. A bitter heart can stunt our growth with God. Then it will enable us to move forward. Because we begin to think of the past hurt and correlating it with the present hurt and which will cause us fear to move ahead in our relationships, in our calling. So we have to be careful on where our heart is when we get offended. And we can, uh, one thing in, in God's word, he tells us as Christians, do not take upon offense. Ecclesiastes 7, 21 and 22. And if you see this little picture right here, it's the bleach bottle. And the reason why I put this, because I was thinking when COVID, I know y'all remember this, when COVID first hit, that we were told that if we drink some bleach, <laughs> it, will help, it will help with the COVID. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you guys think about it, bleach is toxic. We have the choice to either take up on that toxin or not. The same is with offense. We have the choice to take up on offense or allow ourselves to glorify God and not be bitter, just be better and live with an unoffended heart. So mm -hmm. these are some actions. So I, um, God started revealing to me. I was like, well, what is the action plan, Lord? You know, what do I do? So I won't feel, so my heart won't feel offended. Right. And in Psalms 5110, he, um, he pretty much stated, created me a clean heart, oh God, renew a loyal spirit within me. And I want to focus on the loyal spirit, the loyal spirit. 
Now, before I do that, I also wanted to say that um, the Holy Spirit, he checks us and shows us our truth about ourselves. So mm -hmm. we need to make sure when he's checking us and showing us that we are in tune with him and pay attention. Because again, we can only change ourselves, okay? Um, but focusing back on the loyal spirit, if we change our focus on God instead of man, we are becoming loyal to God instead of man. At the yeah. end of the day, the only person that counts is God. You know, mm. but oftentimes we sit there and we focus on man and how, what they want, their expectations for us or, you know, or... Um, how they made us feel. Stop focusing on them. Amen. The test is for you. At the end of the day, the test is for you and you can only change your heart. Be loyal to God, not man. Mm. In addition to that, sometimes as in Ezekiel 36, 26, God just want to give us, a, um, he wants to give us a heart transplant. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. He wants to remove all the negative thoughts all of the, oh my goodness, she hurt me. It's about me, out of me, all of the all of the negative issues out of our heart and be able to transform our heart and give us his characteristics. He wants to replace, remove and replace his characteristics, um, which is his fruit of the spirit. Love, gentleness, joy, long suffering, as it says in Galatians 5, mm. 22 in our yeah, heart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have to allow him to give us that heart transplant. You know, and in the middle of that heart transplant, as it's part of the fruits of the spirit, it goes all into Proverbs 12, 16. We have to be intentional of self-control. We have to be very intentional because if we don't be intentional of controlling ourselves, it says in Proverbs 12, 16, we will be looking like some fools. <laughs> we will be looking like some fools. We don't want to take up on offense. We don't want to take it up on because it can destroy our heart. Please remember that. Yes. Um, with that being said, in addition to unoffended heart, he also real to revealed to me, uh-oh, let me get my screen together. My little finger is going quick here, that we should have unoffended conversations. Y'all, now I'm just gonna be straight and honest with you guys. Um, this is something that I really personally desire as a young kid to learn how to have real conversations, but I didn't learn it until years later, um, to be able to conversate and communicate with somebody. And it says in Matthew 18, 15, if your brother or sister sins, go and point out their fault just between the two of you. So if me and Delvina had an issue, I should go to Delvina. I shouldn't be going to Susan. I shouldn't be going to Shirley. I shouldn't be going to Jada. I shouldn't be going to Jelani. I shouldn't even be going to my husband because what that causes is a lot of chaos, a lot of friction. How that person gonna know that they offended you if you going to everybody else besides them? Mm. You know, sometimes individuals don't realize what they've done because they're not aware of it. But when you bring it to that, their attention, they can change it. And if they don't listen to you, that's okay. Because it says in the next verse, if they do listen to you, then you won them over. <laughs> you yeah. won them over. It says that in the next sentence there, you know, but also when we go have these unoffended conversations, we have to wait on God and trust on his timing. Wait and listen to when he tells us to go. As it says in Ecclesiastes 8, 6, for there is a proper time and a procedure for every matter though a person may be weighed down by misery. So you may be feeling um, heavy burden or whatever the case may be sad, but it says in his word, wait, I say, wait on his, wait yeah. on his timing, not just the timing. Because if you, if we tend to go ahead of God and what he has for us and move before he tells us to, we can mess up. There we go. Messing up our relationship, messing up our calling, you know, in addition to that, excuse me, um, as you see in this next example here, that we have to make, we also have to make room for allowance. May I ask what, what, what you mean by that? Well, I'm about to tell you. Making room for allowance. Um, allow the individual to communicate to you, communicate their feelings, communicate their thoughts. Because, you know, um, 
when we allow them to do this, we can get a better understanding of what's going on with them. You know, it may, again, it may, it may not be about you. It may be, okay, you need help. You know, and as Christians, we need to pay attention to that because we supposed to be praying for them and everything. So don't, don't, don't take it to heart. Even if the things that they say is hurting you, don't take it to heart because if it does, if it does hurt you though, please ask, ask for clarification, you know, for understanding, for their perspective. Don't mm. just let that one time offense cause a lifetime of pain in your life. Mm, that's Every good. attack is not against you. It's mm. not even about you, Rihanna, Susan. It's not even about us, you know, allow, because we got to remember, we, at one point of our time in life, we have offended somebody right. and somebody have allowed forgiveness for us. Mm -hmm. so if no one was allowing forgiveness for us we should be easily to forgive others okay yeah. we also want to be um as christians we also want to remember we are the salt of the earth as it says in matthew 5 13 16 we need to learn how to speak life into people help meet the needs of that individual by praying for them speaking life into them and then it will begin to melt coldness and heal wounds in their lives. As in Colossians 4, 6, it says, let your conversation be always full of grace, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how to answer everyone. Mm. Here today, a healthy conversation narrows the gap for offense. It does, it does. Now, once when we learn to have that unoffended heart, and have that unoffended conversation, then as Christians, we could begin to walk even better and greater in God's greatness, which mm -hmm. brings us to our last screen. And I just want to finalize, see y'all, this is quick, plain and simple. Um, I just want to finalize by saying what we find offenses can be beneficial and constructive to our growth in the kingdom of God. But if we are going to have successful careers, marriages, relationships, we need to learn to receive the truth without being offended and hold healthy conversations. And that is it. That is something that God just revealed to me um, during my walk of being offended. Thank you. I just wanted to share that with you guys. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. Oh my goodness. Yes, we do not have to be offended. We can be unoffended. Powerful yeah. word. Thank you so much, Nani. I, ca I call her Nani. <laughs> that's my term of endearment. Yeah, that's um, my family name, y'all. That's my family name, Nani. Right, right. <laughs> not for everybody. Not for everybody. Not for everybody. So don't call me Nani. I'm going to look at you like, huh, what? All right, all right. You don't have the right to call me Nani, all right now. Uh, uh, I'm trying not to get offended. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Yeah, you will be unoffended. Yes. <laughs> All right. All right. Yes. <laughs> powerful word. Powerful word. Uh, one of the things that really stuck out with me is um, reminding us of that proper timing to have that conversation and then to have the conversation with the person that has, you know, that's kind of touched you in, in a way. Go to them directly because to solve it is not going, like you said, going to other people is not going to solve it. It's not going to solve it at all. And I know I'll, I'll have people that may call me, not often, but every once in a while someone will call me to want to talk about someone else. And I'll immediately say, have you talked to them? Have you spoke to them? You know, have you let them know? Because there's nothing I can do. And then I have this one family member, they'll call me like complaining about someone else. And I'll be like, what do you want me to do? What do you, what do you want me to do? Yeah. You know, and so then- like, I can um, only myself. I can't change that other individual. That's what you said. You said we can't change other people, but we can change ourselves. So we have to start with us. We have to change how we respond, you know, how we look at the situation. That mindset, that mindset has to change. Awesome, awesome, awesome word. Thank you so much. Yes, to God. So I just challenge everyone to, uh, my apologies. Go ahead. But, um, I challenge everyone to, you know, just try not to be offended, you know. 
look at it because it's God is trying to stretch you. I heard Star at our church when she talked about stretch. Shout out to Star. But God is trying to stretch you and grow you further into his kingdom in your walk. Um, so allow him to do that. Stop blaming and uh, the finger and pointing a finger on everybody else and look at it for yourself. A uh, way for you to grow as an individual. You know, Lord, create in me a clean heart. You know, do a new thing to me in my heart, in me daily. You know, daily he's wanting to do a new thing to us. So allow it, allow it. You know, and sometimes it, we, it will hurt, you know, but look at it as growth, a growth spurt, you know, going to that next level. I call it, I'm leveling up. I'm leveling up to more to the kingdom of God. That's it. I call it elevation. Elevation. That too. Yes. 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 Uh, you know, I'm trying to keep up with my kids with the hip hop terms. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to level up with y'all. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. You got to be able to speak that lingo, you know, so you can connect with them. Right. <laughs> right. If we try right, to do old right. school, like, they're like, what are you talking right. about? I don't know what you talking about. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but yes, awesome, awesome, awesome. Listen, if those of you that are listening on this um Zoom, this um YouTube channel, um, Rihanna has made a request and she said if you have any questions or you need any clarity, so please put it in the chat. Even if you watch this after it went live, if you ask a question, she can see it and she'll be able to type and give you a response according to what God downloads into her. So, you know, we don't want to leave anything void when it comes to understanding how we as Christians can be unoffensive. OK, yeah. um, and that goes both ways. Don't be so sensitive what people say and be aware of other, what you say to other people so right. that they won't be offended. So, yeah, to God be the glory. Um, did you have anything else before we close out, Rihanna? No, just thank you. Thank you. Thank you once again, Auntie Susan, for allowing me this opportunity. Um, it's a growth spurt for me. You know, every time I get any type of opportunity, it's a growth spurt for me in the kingdom of God. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being willing. You know, it's so important when we have opportunity to share the word of God. And yes, we pray about it. And then God gives us what we need. So I thank you for being a willing spirit because it starts with that. Yeah. Being told, when you say, I surrender all, then God um, brings something before you. Do you go ahead and, and obey him? Or do you say, well, I'm not ready for that yet. Right. But I thank God that you were ready and willing and excited about sharing the word. And, and that, again, comes because you had that intimacy with him. Yeah. Thank you so much. Awesome, awesome word. I'll be having you back again. You know, trust and believe. <laughs> You'll be back. <laughs> so, um, you know, before this month of June, we're doing something different. So please tune in every Monday night because we'll be having, you know, something different going on. So if you want to know what it is, tune in. But uh, again, thank you all for subscribing and for following us and listening in to, uh, on how, you know, how we can be better, how we can change our life to be better and walk with God. With that being said, um, let's try our song. Let's see if we can sing it together. I don't know if so I can do it. I know, I know. Okay, let's try it. Okay, might be delayed, but hey, just we just work. Out now. You gonna try okay, okay. <laughs> Y'all, we're gonna try this, but yeah. <laughs> okay, whatever comes out comes out. All right, as you know, it's because we're in different places. It's kind of like a delay, but let it just sound like an echo. It'll okay. be an echo. Okay. All right. Here we go. Well, three, two, one. Oh, one, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> that number. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'll just say it. Forget the finger. <laughs> All right. One, two, three. May his peace be with you till we meet again. May his peace be with you till we meet again. Till we reach that distant shore. And we shed a tear no more. May He give it strength to 
It is received by God. The word, the song, the praise. To God be the glory. <laughs> love you, Nadi. I love you too. Yes. You know, God, know what? Remember, God loves you, and so do we. Yes, yes. Amen. Amen. Be blessed and share this YouTube. Share this Zoom, please. Please, please. Yeah. Until yeah. next week. Hop <laughs> <Bye. laughs> Uh, let's see. Huh? Oh, okay. Oh. Look, I'll just stay here frozen. <laughs>